Hello, welcome to the Creative Institute eLearning. I am Atif Ali. Today in this class, I am going to start Microsoft Word. So in this class, I will teach you about the Microsoft Word. As you know that the Microsoft Word is a advanced word processing software, which is used for making any kind of documents. Like if you want to create, uh, create any kind of documents, so we can create easily on Microsoft Word. So first of all, we should know the run command of Microsoft Word. So if you go in the run command window R, and then we have to write here win word and then we press enter it is the run command of microsoft word okay after that the file extension of microsoft word is just x uh, is docs d o c x docs is a run, uh, is a file extension of microsoft word all right so in this class today we are going to teach home tab so i will try my best to complete the home tab and i will describe all the functions of home tab in this class First of all, I will tell you that if you want any dummy text in Microsoft Word, so how to take that? First of all, we have to write is equals to R A N D rand, then small bracket open, small bracket close, and then we press enter. This is called the dummy text, which is uh, given by the Microsoft Office, Microsoft Word. It is giving you the information about Microsoft Word. So the run command, uh, the shortcut key to have a paragraph is equal to R A N D rand, then bracket open and close. And you can also define here how many paragraphs you need to put. Just like if I write here nine, and then I press here enter, so I can see the nine paragraphs here. Uh, so as much as the paragraphs want uh, you want, so you can enter it easily over here. After that, we are starting from the first option is Format Painter. Uh, what is the use of Format Painter? First of all, if you write here any of the heading, just like we write here information. And after that, we apply here any design or any style, just like I am just uh, increasing the font size. Okay, you must know the font size of the uh, main heading is must 14 or 16. The heading size is 14 or 16. So you just put this from here and after that you can apply here uh, any writing style so there are so many writing styles that you can apply uh, but as you know the Arial times Roman and uh, Calibri are the standard so you can apply it from here after that you can bold it italic or then underline if you want to have the double underline so you can go in this option and you can apply it from here so just like that I have prepared here a heading or a, uh, a paragraph uh, for example, if I want here the another one heading, just like I just write here technology. All right. So now I want to have the same style of uh, information on the heading of technology. So I will select this all, and then I will press Format Painter, and then I will click on this heading. So you can see it's just simple. Uh, the first heading style and the second heading style are simple. So the shortcut key to have the Format Painter is that. For example, if you write here network and you want to have the same style on the same heading, so just select the heading and press Ctrl Shift C and then click on network and then press Ctrl Shift V. So that is a shortcut key to apply the format painter. And then we have the copy. As you know, the copy is very simple command. If you want to paste here the data, so just click on the paste. So you can see copy and paste option. Or if you want to cut it from here, and want to paste anywhere so just go here and uh, click on this option of paste after that uh, we go ahead and then we talk about the stick through and these powers so a stick through is basically help you to cut any text if you want to cut it so just click on the stick through so you can see the paragraph is cancelled from here so this is called the stick through and except that if you want to have a power just like h2o okay so if you want to have this power under the h2 so just click here or if you want to have this power on above of 2 uh, so just click on the uppercase and th there are also shortcut keys if you click control shift is equals to then it will be a subscript superscript if you want to have the subscript so you will press control is equals to Control is equals to the shortcut key of subscript and control shift is equals to is a, a shortcut key of superscript. After that we go ahead or the next option is about the uh, change case. For example, if you, uh, you have written any paragraph in the small alphabets and you want to uh, create it in the uppercase, if you want to make it uh, just like capital, capital, so click on the uppercase, so you can see it's in the uppercase. 
or if you want to make it uh, in the uh, lower case so it will be small alphabets and just like you want to have the capitalize each word so you can also apply it from uh, this option except that if you want to uh, if you want to create this uh, with the help of shortcut key so you will press shift f3 shift f3 is a shortcut key of uh, changing the case if you want to make anything capital and anything small whatever you want to create so uh, uh, shift f3 is a shortcut key of that then we go ahead if you want to uh, increase the font size so you can also increase it from here and if you want to decrease the font size so you can also decrease from here and except that you can also press control shift and then greater than sign it will increase the font size or if you press the control shift less than it will decrease the font size from here all right so let's go ahead and now we have the next heading is that uh, if you have any word or any letter any document just like you have here the document letter and you want to make it just like uh, uh, any stylish so you can just click here and then you can press here and you can see this is in a different style and you can see it's in a different way the same if you want to uh, highlight anything so you can go in this option and you can also highlight from here or if you want to make a writing style change so just go here and then you can also change the writing color the font color from here the next option is here is about the clear formatting it means if you want to remove all the designing from this uh, from this alphabet so just click on this option it will be just like simple so this is all about the font tab but we have learned today in the class now we are going for the font uh, bullets bullets are actually you know uh, step by step one by one if you want to define anything so just have a bullets from here or you just write here any any name or any person name anything you want to write here just write here then press enter and then again write and then press enter and after that if you want to make a sub uh, sub bullet so just press tab button tab button will create a sub heading and sub heading will give you the results just like that and you can apply the sub heading also uh, with the help of bullet tab and you have to press the tab button and the tab with the help of tab button you can uh, perform this task yeah. except that we have the option here uh, of uh, number bullets the number bullets you can also apply from here and the number bullets uh, you can apply from here one two three one two three if you want to have so you can apply one two three from here or abc or something like that if you want to create so you can also apply here a uh, one two three or abc that's up to you if you want to apply the number bullet so you can also apply from here except that we have the alignments if you want to draw it in the center this is the center alignment then we have right alignment and then we have the left alignment and except that we have the uh, alignment justify alignment justify is uh, just like that if the lines are not equal so you can equal the lines from here the alignment justify and the shortcut key of alignment justify is control j when you press control j so you can apply the alignment justify from here except that you have uh, option here of line spacing if you want to increase or decrease the line spacing so you can easily increase or decrease the line spacing from this option the minimum is 1.0 or except that if you want to decrease more uh, size uh, in the line spacing so click on remove space after paragraph so it will be more congested you, you can see right now it will be more congested here except that we have the next option here uh, with the name of increase indent when you press in this option you can see the paragraph is going uh, ahead from the left side this is called the increase indent or if you press the decrease indent then the paragraph is going backward these both options are useful for us when you are working for any paragraph except that when you want to have the ascending or descending order so you can also perform this task for example there is a name uh, just like a right here a name of Zishan then I press enter and then I have here a name of uh, Yasin and then I press here Alex uh, just like that I have Bilal now I want to make them in ascending order so I just select this all data and go in the format uh, sorting option and then I press here from ascending order and press OK and now you can see Alex, Bilal, Yasin and Zishan are the names here and this is called the uh, sorting option 
all right so let's uh, the next option is about the uh, highlighting the complete paragraph if you want to give a uh, lighting uh, theme for a paragraph so you can apply here this theme also you can apply here this theme from uh, this option except that we have a next option of border so border is very important if you want to have the bottom border so just go there and click on the bottom border and if you go there top border and you can also apply the left border from here and the right border from this option after that if you want to remove this border so go in the no border option then it will be done except that if you want to change the border style so go in the border and shading option and after that choose any of the border from here and then press ok so you can see now the border style is quite changed if you want to have the complete border on the page so you can also apply the complete border on the page from this option go in the border and shading option go in the border page border and select here any border and press on the box and then press ok so now you can see a complete page border on every page you can see the same border I'm repeating it again just go in the border and shading go in the page border and you can apply any border from here you can also apply the art border from here when you press any art border from here you can see there are some of the cherries on, uh, on the page so you can also make this type of attractive and interesting uh, uh, backgrounds on the page so you can apply so many designs are available here you can apply any of the design from here just like I am applying any uh, star or anything I am just applying here so you can see the border from this option this is quite interesting I am teaching you in the different way and I am teaching you somehow uh, in, uh, fast because uh, uh, I want to teach you the complete tab in one lesson it will be good for you just watch a win uh, complete video and then you will learn this complete tab of home the next option is show and hide <coughs> in this option I will teach you if you want to hide any paragraph for example uh, if someone assign you any kind of assignment and you want to hide this paragraph so just select this paragraph and press ctrl D <coughs> ctrl D is a shortcut key of font dialog box then click on the hidden option and then press ok you can see the paragraph has been gone it, it is hidden if you want to show the paragraph what you have hidden so click on this option so you can see this paragraph is here the data what do you hide from anyone uh, it is shown you here uh, and dotted underline you can see the dotted underline over here and it is the hidden data when you click on this option again it will be hide again <coughs> so now you can see the option is not available there again press it will come again you click this option it will be gone if you want to uh, if you want to recall it permanently so click on this option it will come then select this option again and press ctrl D and then remove the check from hidden and then press ok now it's permanent remove check from here now it will not go it will be here on the permanent line so this is about the paragraph paragraph is quite interesting and you can apply this in the different different documents in the different different fields we have done clipboard font dialog box and paragraph now we are going for the style paragraph actually style is already made some of the styles are already made here if you want to just apply here any heading so just click on the heading so you can see uh, there is a heading if you want to create any title so click on this option it will create a title for you and it will help you in the reference tab when you uh, work with the reference tab so here uh, there you can uh, use this option very well except that the new the next option is find if you want to find any word so you can find any word just like I have written here the so you can see all the where uh, the is mentioned on the page if you want to search one by one go in the advanced search and then press the enter 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 so you can see the one by one and one by one you can see uh, where the the option is actually written the next option is replace if you want to replace any text like I want to replace the with any text like there I want to replace the with there so I will click on this option replace all so it is saying that we made 10 replacement so just press yes then press ok and then close this file 
and this is for selection if you want to select complete data so you will just click on select all and the select all you can select all the data so that's all from today class i try my best to explore and define all the home tab for you people because it's very interesting and you just have to watch one video in this video i have covered the complete home tab for you in the next video i will try my best to recover and cover the insert and then design then page layout reference mailing review and view in seven to eight classes i will try my best to complete the microsoft word for you and after that we will go in a new and interesting lectures so must watch this video thank you very much that's all from today class take care Goodbye.